Hey there, my name is Megan and today I'm decorating my house for Christmas. I'm excited for a few reasons. Number one, we've lived in our home for about a year now, so I'm very comfortable here and I have a really clear vision of how I want to decorate for Christmas this year. Number two, our house is a colonial style historic home. It was built in 1903 and I really just enjoy leaning into the history and the era of it and I'm going to decorate a little bit more traditional this year than I have in the past. So I'm going to take you guys along and show you how I aim to be sustainable when I'm decorating for Christmas and also hopefully give you guys some tips, tricks, and ideas for you for when you're decorating your home this year. I'm starting off by decorating my banister. I have this really great banister that goes all the way up to the second floor. And I found this amazing garland last year around Christmas time um, at a local consignment shop and I only paid $40 for it and it is so long. I mean to tell you guys, it goes from the floor on the first floor all the way up to the top of the railing on the second floor. So I'm using these um, garland sort of like attachments that I got on Amazon. I tried using zip ties last year and I really just didn't like how I could still see it in the banister and these blend in with the garland so well. I'm going to link them below because I think they're really, really handy if you're doing anything with wreaths, garland, and you want it to really blend in. One thing I like to do that's very simple is to change the artwork on my Samsung frame TV. This is the best investment I made this year buying this frame TV. It brings me so much joy every day, not to look at a black box on the wall, but instead to be able to see a piece of artwork. All of the wreaths and garland and my Christmas trees are items that I purchased last year and most of them are from big box stores, but I find that it's still a sustainable practice as long as it's an item that is classic, something that you can use for years and years to come. I like to buy things very plain so I can add things to them and change them up every year. I try not to buy anything that has too many embellishments on it because I find that if I buy something with a lot of embellishments, I get sick of it and I want to change it. And that's not a sustainable practice necessarily because then you're getting rid of things instead of using them for years and years to come. I love these garlands I bought from Target years ago. It's two pieces and um, they're from the Hearth and Hand collection. I have used them in so many places. This year I'm using them on the dining room table as a centerpiece. I'm going to add some candle holders and tapered candles. And while I don't like to put out any plates or play settings because they just get dusty, I do like to have the table decorated with the centerpiece and it just makes me look forward to Christmas dinner all month long. I get to sort of look at that and be excited about it. Who remembers this pom-pom garland I made a couple years ago? I'm gonna put a card above. I still have that tutorial on my channel and it is so cute. You can use it any time of year. I really like it at Christmas, but it'd be really cute hung for a birthday party or really just any time. Simple thing I can do in the kids' rooms is just add a miniature little Christmas tree. We don't decorate them or anything. We like to keep the main Christmas tree as magical as possible. So this is just decor only. And then I also just like to change out the books seasonally anyway. 
So I'm adding in some Christmas books that we have, and of course we visit our local library throughout the month, so we'll get some Christmas books there as well. Hands down, my favorite Christmas item we own is this Gather Advent Calendar. I had way too much fun decorating it and filling it with lots of goodies and crafts for the kids to do, a little bit of candy here and there, but it's just so much fun and it looks so pretty. It's something for the kids to look forward to each and every day before Christmas. Like I said, a lot of the wreaths and garland I have are very simple, and so I want to add some bows to my garland and wreaths. I'm going to use some blue velvet ribbon to create them. It's very simple and easy. Just cut a length of ribbon for the bottom of the bow, and then this is going to be the top part of the bow. It's going to be a little bit shorter. I just cut that and then fold it so that the ends are in the middle. I put that loop into the center of the longer piece and then I'm going to tie that right there in the middle so that it creates that sort of bow shape. And then I'm just kind of adjusting the pieces on the bottom and turning them to face, you know, the direction that I want them to face and just getting that bow sort of shape. But this requires no hot glue or anything and it creates this really simple, elegant bow. And then to finish it off, I'm just cutting those little triangle shapes out of the longer parts of the bow and that really gives it the bow-like appearance. <laughs> a bit of floral wire to attach the bows to my wreaths and then I went ahead and also I made some for the garland instead of doing one loop for the top of the bow I did two and it just made the bows just a little bit bigger um, which I think the garland needed since the garland was so big I didn't want the bows to get lost in the garland Another little quick DIY I did was to make these sort of found foraged wreaths. I'm just using some floral wire and then I got some, um, I'm not sure what kind of greenery this is, but just some, you know, extra uh, winter greenery from the local nursery. And I'm just gonna make a big like loop with this floral wire. <music> I'm just cutting some smaller pieces of this um, greenery and then I'm using a smaller piece of the floral wire to attach it to the loop and then continuing around until it creates a wreath-like shape. One thing I bought new this year were these candles for the windows. I got them on Amazon. They're battery operated and remote operated and they're amazing. I love them. They come on every night on a timer and they make the house look so cozy and elegant from the outside. Highly recommend. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a happy holiday and I will see you on the next one.